Hello everyone, and today I have another USB device that we can use as a USB army knife. And this one again comes from WaveShare. This is the ESP32-S3 with a 1.47 inch screen. So let's check it out. Now, the main difference with this with the other USB device that I've shown you is aside from the big screen that it has is that it has this GPIO pins that you can put meaning that you can extend you can create your own PCB board in here and you can put other modules like for example you can put a GPS module and with the other firmware you can easily do some GPS or war driving with it or you can put a NRF24 and you can do some Bluetooth BLE spamming with this so that is the main advantage of this one but today we will be doing some USB Army 9 installation and demonstration with this so let's start hey by the way this video is brought to you by WaveShare share awesome hardware if you want to have your very own copy of this awesome hardware you can buy it on their website and if you want to help the channel you can check my affiliate link down below okay with that out of the way let's begin and as usual i think we have done this so many times let's go to the usb army knife website or github now again all of the binaries that you need will be under actions and let's go to the latest build so this is the latest build and if we go down here you will see all of the list of available devices and it will be let's just move my face here it will be this waveshare esp32 lcd 147 binaries so if you download that, there will be three files I'll be showing you. Let's put my face back now. And let's open the three files that I have. And these are the three files that you will have. Firmware bootloader and partition. Now you're still missing one important one or one important firmware or bin file. And that is something that you can find here. I'll be giving the link down below and all you have to do is click download raw file okay now that you have all of the files that are needed you will need to insert this with or insert this and have it on firmware flash mode okay now be sure that it doesn't have an sd card in it to put it on the firmware flash mode all you have to do is push the button while you insert it so let's do that okay so if you have done it correctly if you go to esp.hon.me and click connect there you will see a USB J tag and the COM port where it is connected all you have to do is choose it click connect and now that it is connected you can first just to be safe click erase and let's wait okay now that it's done what we're gonna do is okay just follow the memory addresses of where you need to put the bin files or the firmware files partition is on 8000 firmware is on 10,000 boot up zero is e zero 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 and bootloader is on the memory address zero and after you have done that you just have to click program and again let's wait okay so now that it is finished what we're gonna do is let's just remove it okay so now that you have the firmware installed make sure to have your SD card inside it or else it will not work make sure that it is also formatted with e with FAT32 okay so let's just insert here this is the ESP card reader or the ESP card module and it will look like this now 
I do have a very wonderful case. Again, with a Kista color coming from Maker World by Charlie. Okay. So, let's just put it there. Okay. And... See? Looks wonderful. Kista colors. And I also 3D printed a... USB cap for it. So let's plug it in and let's try it out. Okay, now, now that you have inserted it, if you're gonna take a look at the access point that are available to you, by default, there would be an iPhone 14 there. All you have to do is to connect to it. Password is password, all small letters, and go to 4.3.2.1 colon 8080 again okay, you'll be presented with the usb army knife web ui okay now that you are in the web ui i'm gonna show you something cool let's go to i'm gonna open up a folder here and this okay something okay so here now if you have the ancient running like this one I have some videos on how to set it up or how to do it using ducky script you can go to command and on the command you can go to agent and here you can do any DOS command and execute it on the host the host is where the USB army knife is connected like for example this one mkdir Hakista folder. So here, if you're going to take a look at here, when I click yeah, execute, a folder will be created. And as you can see, there it is, the Hakista folder. Really, really cool, right? So you can execute any commands as long as the agent is running on the host. Now, the next thing that I want to show you, if you want to do some further customization on your configuration, let's go to settings. And here you can see that you can set the Wi-Fi AP or the access point, the name that is being shown. And right now we can change it into Hakista TB free Wi-Fi. Yeah. And also you can change the password but if you want, if we don't want to use just password, password. Now click save. Okay. Now what we're going to do is let's just close this browser and let's unplug it okay and let's just replug it and if you go here you'll see that the access point hakista tb free wi-fi is already there if you click there you connect since this is the first time that you are connecting to it just put the password which is password and click next okay wait for it to connect and let's open a browser okay so once we open the browser make sure that we are connected to the wi-fi access point let's go here and as you can see, that is how you can change the Wi-Fi access point to something that is more suitable to you. And there you have it, a quick demonstration of how to install the USB Army Knife on this ESP32 S3 device from WaveShare. And some demonstration, very, very cool demonstration that is. And again, if you want to have this awesome hardware, Check out my affiliate link down below. It will also help the channel. Again, till next time, always remember, keep on hacking my fellow hackista. <laughs>